Transcatheter mitral valve implantation or replacement is a procedure that is done either transeptal or transapically, whereby we, for patients that are otherwise of high risk or prohibitive risk, we access the ventricle and replace the mitral valve through technological means. In this case, the tendine transcatheter mitral valve implantation is currently transapical that has a unique tether that fixes on the ventricular apex and attaches it to the prosthesis itself for appropriate anchoring. TMVI or transcatheter mitral valve implantations with a tendine device is applied for all pathoetiologies. However, um, the vast majority of the first 100 patients that have been performed in which we studied, over 90% are actually done for secondary mitral regurgitation. The tendine device in the first 100 has been shown to be very safe in terms of procedural success, nearly 100% procedural success, but also the 30-day mortality is only 6%. One year mortality is about 26%. Of course, these are our heart team adjudicated high risk or prohibitive risk patients. But what's most importantly, compared to all other options that are currently available for transcatheter therapies, that it's well over 98% uh, complete elimination of mitral insufficiency with the device. One of the aspects of this particular study of the first 100 patients, we sought to examine what would be the predictors of a positive outcome. And that outcome was mortality and heart failure hospitalization. Now the findings were somewhat uh, very interesting in that the patients that had severe mitral regurgitation as well as large ventricles actually did well compared to patients with less than severe MR and smaller ventricles that did less well. Now that's somewhat counterintuitive. So a subset analysis of patients with that, that were part of this multivariable analysis looking at the less than severe MR and more than severe MR showed that the more, than severe, the more severe MR patients really were the larger ventricles showing that there is definitely uh, something to help with the decision making in this difficult patient population, whereby some, like the co-apt and mitral FR patients that were successful, may be treated with mitral clip, but some of the patients with larger ventricles perhaps may be better suited with TMVI. So some of the controversies in the management of secondary MR is what treatment and when. I think the most important thing is that secondary MR is not a binary disease state. It's not present or absent. There's a gradation of pathoanatomy of patients that go from a relatively small amount of tethering and small ventricles to large ventricles and large tethering. So finding the solution of what device to use when, whether that be surgical in the, the smaller ventricles, or transcatheter mitral valve repair in the middle range, or transcatheter mitral valve replacement in patients that have larger ventricles and more tethering. And that's, I think, this, this sweet spot that perhaps the tendine TMBI technique through this study has shown that in those patients that may be predictive of failure of transcatheter mitral valve repair, such as those found in coaptor mitral FR, that those patients actually did very well with TMVI.